We're gonna He's gonna see the show. show. <laughs> his face is gonna be fogged out. <laughs> we'll cut to a commercial for Cialis. Yeah. Uh, oh that. no, oh. our competitor. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. So, I know that being friends is a great thing. And Scott, you and I have been friends for gazillions Never. of years, yeah. right? But when you're having a partnership like you guys, it's not just a friendship, but there's also business involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also know that if Jason wasn't as amazing as he is at what he does, you guys would probably just be friends mm -hmm. and maybe not business <laughs> partners. So, Scott, shh, shh. and you guys have been doing business for such a long time. <laughs> what is it about Jason... And, and, and the manager that he is that really, really impresses you and draws you to have him as your manager. You know, Jason... Um, Do tell. You guys can see, he's an awesome guy. He is. He's, he's got Come a on. great he family. He really takes things very seriously. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? Jason likes to have fun, yeah. and I like to have fun, and we like to make each other laugh, but he's a, a hard worker. I mean, this is a guy that will, you know, find the right people, uh, the other day we were talking about something and I said, maybe you could find out this and you're like, hey, I hunted this guy down and blah, blah. And, and so he's, he's really a hard worker. That's number one. The other thing too is people like him. I mean, he's yeah. a genuine person. So when, you know, he shows up at their office with a nice basket for everybody and it's not a lot of hoopla, but you see a, a guy who's really loves his work, loves to service the clients and take care of them. Um, I love him because, um, you know, he's patient, he's very patient, and, <laughs> and you need to have a lot of patience with us, right? Like how many times... My wife won't agree, how many but... Times in our <laughs> how many times in our, in our career together do you think you've woken me up in the morning? A lot. <laughs> Hundreds? Quite a few. <laughs> and I'm pretty cranky in the morning. I just wonder what, what you're thinking on the other side sometimes because you're like, Scott, um, hey, can you get in the booth? I'm like, uh, this yeah. is my favorite, and Mike does this too, but I'll, I'll go into like a, a five minute explanation as soon as he picks up the phone. <laughs> Scott, I got this call last night, but I didn't want to wake you, but here's what we got. And if you can get in there, they need to ship by 9.15. If you can get in the booth, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll just, it'll be silent for a minute and I'll hear, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes that I just- always gets me. Or sometimes <laughs> I just start playing ZZ Top LaGrange into <laughs> the phone, oh, don't I? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical, man. And then we start the day off with a big, big laugh yeah. i mean we we're, we both understand that it's like it's absurd i mean the stuff that we get panicked about but right. i mean yeah. um there's not an hour in the 24-hour day that i haven't done voiceover in mm -hmm. and that means he's getting calls too like yeah. right. he's calling me because he's putting the kids down he's like hey scott i just you know it's 11 30 at night he's putting the kids down and we're getting you know we're mm -hmm. getting calls yeah you know it's it's uh, an interesting job because we're both on call yeah. And he gets calls when he's at a restaurant with his wife, and or he's at the movies, or he's at a sporting event. So he re yeah, we really share that call. together. Yeah. yeah. And I always say, oh, dude, I'm so sorry that you're, you know, or he'll be at a special event or something. Mm -hmm. And it's just part of our thing. It yeah. is. You know, I, I had a friend that was a, a doctor that delivered babies. What do they call that? A Pediatrician? Ob Obstetrician. Whatever it was. Obstetrician. Anyway. It was the same thing for him. He'd be at a party, you know, somebody going to labor and it's time to go, time yeah. to deliver the baby. And so we've always had that mentality. It's like we have the privilege of being in this business and the blessings that it has afforded us. And so one of the things that we have to do is to be available for our clients when they need us. Yeah. Absolutely. And he shares that same thing. So like I can't go to him and say, you don't know what it's like because he knows exactly yeah. what it's exactly. like to get those phone calls. Yeah. He gets them before yeah. I do. So he's patient, he's kind, he's a hard worker, and uh, the most important thing, as I mentioned earlier, is that I really think he gets excited when he hears his talents on the spots because he is a big fan. Yeah. Like I love, like when I'm hearing his guys on stuff, I, you know, I'll say, oh, it's Brian or that's Bill Ratner, and yeah. and we're we're really a team, and it goes beyond just your stable. I mean, we all have a love for. 
you know, like I was, I called you yesterday, and I think I said I heard Ashton on a, a new movie. Right. And I said he sounded Phil great. Or, yeah. We, we have an appreciation of for, course. for the guys. And it's a small yeah. industry. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we all see each other at, at um, you understand that, that it's like, even though you may be competitors, and I love half the voiceover guys that I know that are out mm -hmm. there that, that are with other managers or other agencies, but I give them a hug every time I see them at uh, sure. the Key Arts or the Golden Trailer Awards. And Scott has never, he's such a good guy, like he just, he always says great things about him. If he loses a movie, he goes, you know what though? That guy sounds great. He was a great choice for that yeah. film. You know, I'm not gonna or, go see it, but no, just kidding. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm, go see it. But we're gonna egg his house, and we're well, gonna. From each of your perspectives, where you are in the industry, um, there's a lot of people watching that are either trying to do trailer work or just in voiceover in general. Um, they aspire to be in this business. What guidance or wisdom could you offer them for pursuing voiceover? I think that you've seen so many folks, probably more than me, that have wanted to get into the business. What, what well, do well, you... Jason, I'm sure that you've seen people that wanted to do this, and now they are one of the guys that do this. Yeah. 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 So, but for those that aren't or who yeah, don't no, even but know what I'm saying is that so he does understand. Yeah. You know, on, I feel um, I feel a kinship with with every performer. I think. Um, you know, because I, I moved out here and, you know, at a very young age and, and I wanted to act and, and do performance. And so I think comedy, right? I wanted to do I wanted to act. But then I felt all the acting classes were too tense. And, you know, I would have like a girl who I had a crush on, like get mad at me for stepping on. Don't step on my line. Like if we were doing like a scene rehearsal, I'm like, whoa, man. <laughs> Uh, I, um, this is too intense for me. But you did the improv comedy yeah. and you so, had a lot of oh success God, with that. So I, so I started feeling like, oh man, these people take themselves really seriously. <laughs> and and me and my buddy Mike were at Formosa Cafe, which I don't even think is there anymore. I remember it's it. Kind though. of a sad yeah. thing. but um, And we were joking around and some guys were like, hey, you guys are pretty funny. You should go to um, audit this improv class we're doing. And we met all these guys from Second City and oh, uh, Improv Olympic at Chica and sh from Chicago. And they were down to earth. They were smart. They were funny. They were interesting. And they were great performers. So I feel like um, I, you know, I had a great you know, handful of years doing improv comedy, performing for like three people on a Tuesday night at nice. midnight, <laughs> which was awesome. That's pressure, man. And, uh, That's pressure. I met my wife doing that, so that was great, yeah, which that. is which is really a special thing. And so I think I've always had um, uh, an, uh, like an understanding of even these guys getting into voiceover because I get I get the fact that they're they're gunning, they're trying to mm -hmm. live out their dream, and so I feel I feel great when I get to call them and go, dude, you got it. Even especially if it's a new newcomer, yeah, yeah. I think all managers and agents. All love feeling like they're ready. Wow, that's incoming. <laughs> no, I, I I feel like when you feel like you you kind of can break somebody, that's that's a feather in your cap. It feels great for the talent. Um, but yeah, persistence is definitely part of it. I never want to tell a guy you suck and don't do this. Mm -hmm. But um, I've heard some pretty bad demos, and I kind of want to save them a lot of time and and stress and and hoping but i don't want to be the guy to either to put a nail in their dream either yeah, so right, right so scott what about you any any words of advice that you could give uh, some of the people out there that really want to do this thing you know i had a guy uh come up to me at a uh screen actors guild uh event and he came up to me and he said you know i really want to do trailers and i said great well you know what have you done and he goes oh i haven't done anything i said no, I mean in voiceover, what, what have, he said, I haven't done anything. And I said, well, I said, you know, most of us that have gotten into trailers have spent around 10 years mm -hmm. developing our skills and we've done it by starting maybe in commercials, uh, animation, uh, whatever it might be where we're behind a mic constantly so you have that feeling like it's it's like a stage fright thing that you don't you can't start at that level you have to really 
have a lot of uh, training. So I just tell people that they need to get behind a mic as often as they can. I like people starting in commercials because it's the easiest road in, I feel, yeah. because the commercial, uh, the advertising agencies are always looking for yeah, new voices. And so that's a way into the industry, and that's what I did. And then you can start to focus and lean toward some people like uh, books on tape or animation or whatever. You, you have to be developing your skill set always. You know, even uh, to this day, uh, every year I put on my uh, resolutions uh, to be a better voice actor. I think I can always get better to be a lifetime learner. I think a lot of the, this generation expects too much too fast yeah. mm -hmm. and I, it was just funny to me from my perspective or even like Ashton Smith's perspective you know we both got into this business around the same time and we both had been around this town for 10 years we known each other for 10 years before either one of us had got a trailer right. mm -hmm. and so the trailer thing is a uh, very very specific and it's not as small as it used to be it used to be the five guys in a limo Right. And now because there's so much uh, media, there's so many different channels. And yeah. like the other day, I did a, a, a digital campaign for, uh, what was that? Johnny English Strikes Again. Right, right, right. Purely digital campaign, going to have no TV spots. Mm -hmm. So now there's so much opportunity. People thought there was going to be less opportunity or because a voice isn't in the movie theater anymore. I mean, that used to be the big thing. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, and guess what? Hardly do you hear a voice in the movie trailer. I'm always, I love it. I think it was last year or whatever, I had uh, the Panda, Disney Panda experience, and it was a lot of narration in the theater, and, and I hadn't heard that in years. Yeah. That is exciting to hear that. In the, yeah. There's no experience like that, because you, yeah. in your living room you hear it on a TV spot, yeah. but when you're in a theater, it know, is kind of fun. I love that too. I miss it so much. I really do. It's kind of yeah. it's kind of making a little bit of a resurgence. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard some... A little bit voices yeah. on trailers so but now people were thinking because of that there's no opportunity and there's still opportunity yeah. so I would just tell all the young men and women that are out there that are like me that want to do movie trailers at some day just work just do whatever work you know get get behind a microphone it's all of you know Don LaFontaine used to say to me it's about mic time Scotty yeah. you know get behind that mic just keep working keep doing whatever you can and um, so it's, you, you have to be patient, yep. and uh, you also have to be uh, a uh, lifetime learner yeah. and really study the craft. Yeah. Yeah. And I the, will say this, I'll interject this, because I do get, I was trying to think of what questions I get asked from aspiring talent, mm -hmm. and a lot of times I'll get a call from a talent similar to what Scott said, where they're, they want a manager, and I'll say, well, who's your agent? I don't have an agent, but I feel like I really need a manager. I feel like they have that backwards, mm -hmm. because you want to have an agent before you have a manager. A manager, what I tell the guys who come to me, they may have a great voice and I'll hear it and I'll be like, you know what, man, your demo, I hear potential. I think there's something that could happen there. But right now on a scale of one to 10, you're at like maybe a seven or an eight. But when you come to a management company and I get, you know, I'm fortunate enough to get the call from Universal or Paramount or Warner Brothers who, Sony for their next big film, and I've got to put up a -list. my A-list clients. Yeah, your twelves. You've yeah. got you. Yeah, you need to be at like Spinal Tap. You need to be the the eleven <laughs> on the dial. Yeah, you got to yeah, be yeah. the eleven. Yeah. So yeah. I try to say that, like, put get take take the classes, do the coaching, work. Even if you're reading fifty trailers a day just for practice, mm -hmm. get it down to where you feel like you, you're ready to be, at least be a 10 or an 11 to get, yeah. get out there. Yeah, I mean, you can transcribe them and, and practice. Your, you know, people say, I, I don't have opportunity. My gosh, if you have access to the internet, you have opportunity. Take yeah. the cards you know, from you the know, trailers. Just take the graphics and, and make them. The people that watch this show have seen like the animation folks on here. Mm -hmm. And I've done some animation, you know. And, cool and, and I love it, right? But there is a certain something mm -hmm. that the... Rob Paulson's and the Jim Cummings and yeah. th those folks have there's a certain thing yeah. that they have a natural ability that's innate that is quick and funny and and their mind works in an interesting way and I just recognize that I can't be part of that group mm -hmm. 
they are just so good. Like I could play Aquaman because it's basically, yeah. you know, I am Aquaman, you know, or whatever. <laughs> but uh, these guys have this thing. But there are those same sensibilities with both promo. And true, yeah. Because promo, there's a sense of timing and music because the spots are done and now you're fitting your voice in there. But also, when you're doing a movie trailer, um, they're cutting to you, mostly, so the timing issues aren't huge. Mm -hmm. So you have a little bit of uh, leeway there. But um, there is a sensibility about how the words need to be said. And, yeah. and sometimes people have it and sometimes they don't. I know some great actors mm -hmm. who have great voices who have tried to do movie trailer and promo yeah. and they can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's there's it and sometimes if you have a natural ability, it's hard to teach it. It's hard yeah. to know how to say. It. Exactly. But I will say in the same way that I understand that these guys that compete at the top levels of animation, mm -hmm. I, I'm just not I'm not one of those guys. I yeah. you know, I can I can change my voice here and there, but these guys are more than that. Yeah. And it's the same way with the top trailer guys. There's a reason that the guys do what they do and they're good at it you know a big part of this too is not even anything about the voice it's uh, can you take direction mm -hmm. how quickly can you turn on a dime and you know uh, how can you uh, touch certain words so that you know because that happens all the time I had a yeah. session today where they wanted me to do a specific line it was one line of copy for a big movie and they wanted to do takes where I put each word out so we did right. a take of ABCs where I hit the first word, take of ABCs where I hit the second mm -hmm. word. It just so they could know and mix and match and stuff. And yeah. you gotta be able to do that stuff yeah. right now. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, that, first of all, that. that's great advice from yeah. both of you guys, man. Yeah. That's really, really cool, <clears throat> mm -hmm. for sure. You know, that's that's what we do. I'm surprised uh, you haven't called me during. <laughs> I know. You haven't called me have during this session? interview. I haven't checked the phone. Oh, that's you should oh, check boy. the phone. Wait a minute. It's a holiday. Oh, it that's is. That's why. Oh, that's it's a holiday. holiday. <laughs> yeah. You said earlier that you know one of the worst parts about what you do is having to news. give bad news to your your, your talent. But what sure. about rejection for you? Because you get it too, right? We do, and and I and I I want talents to remember that. Like we're we're all kind of in some weird roundabout way, we're all kind of on the same team because if you're in the entertainment industry, and I like to call this uh, when people are like, oh, that's so cool, you're in the entertainment industry. <laughs> I say, yeah, I'm kind of like in the insurance department of the entertainment <laughs> industry, <laughs> film marketing. and But you when you feel rejection too as a manager, yeah. we all want to be liked, we all want to feel like we went in there and made the sale and made a mm -hmm. difference and you know, and sometimes your competitor gets it and sometimes yeah. you go home and you complain to your wife and you drink a lot of scotch. <laughs> Good to know. It's true. He'll, he'll, he'll call me. We've been wanting to get something. We've read on it. Maybe, yeah. you know, other guys are reading on it too. And usually the way we find out is by watching TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he'll call me and he'll go, dude, dude, I just it heard did, this, uh, and or, or, or I'll call him and say it. But at the same time, you know, we want, we don't want every movie, but we want most movies. We and do. so yeah. there always is, especially if you've put time into it and you thought, oh, I gave it a good read, mm -hmm. yeah. and they went somewhere else. Yeah. And and that's fine, I mean, that's that's the actors. But you know, you do your part the best you can, and you have to surrender the, the yeah. outcome. Because you have to surrender as the long outcome. as you've done your best, because who knows how many times that didn't happen, but then something else did, because you know, as long as totally. you put out your best, that's all you can do. Yeah. Right? What do you think is the happiest day for, um, for uh, Jason and I. What the is, happiest day? Yeah, we, we have a specific day. Oh, an, an actual day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Tag day, baby. Tag day. <laughs> 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 you guys are freaking awesome. So he'll call me and he'll go, Tag day, baby. Because <laughs> that basically means the studio yes. has has, has chosen decided, you as the voice. And you got to yes. read the this Friday and the starts tomorrow oh, and the rated yeah. PG-13. And that's when we kind of know, like, and We're, and what he was just saying about sometimes we'll hear somebody else on the air. We've also had the reverse. We're watching a big ball game or something yeah. on mm -hmm. TV. And all of a sudden, the the and, like, literally I'll hear Scott's. Rated PG-13, starts Friday, and I'm dialing my phone, and he's calling me as, <laughs> yeah. dude, dude, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's so That's fun. That's how we yeah. know we love our jobs. You yeah. know, yeah. Normally, when you do tags, mm -hmm. like tag day, 
how many tags for one for just for one movie would you actually do in that tag session? Well, it can be up to thirty tags. You're kidding? No, because we'll it do. It can vary. We'll yeah. do like international tags, and uh, and all the ratings are different for international stuff. But you, you think about it. You have uh, starts tomorrow, starts Friday, starts right. you know in, in three theaters, days, yeah. in five days, mm -hmm. in four Countdowns. days. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. and and so there's a lot of tags. But I think my biggest tag sheet was thirty tags. Nice. And Fantastic. for some of the movies, though, we just had a tag day, and I think it was like what do we five have? or six? Yeah, or five, some, six, sometimes seven it's tags. small, but but it still means that once they've hired you to do the tags, yeah. you're going to finish spots. You're the guy. Yay. You're the guy. That's so beautiful. that's our happy yeah. day. That is so yeah. cool. Hey, Stacy, why don't we put the guys on the yeah? Uh, so we have the hopper a, there and ask them a mystery question. A mystery we'll question. We gotta go eat. What is this? A dinner party? Thank you guys for being here. This was such a, a privilege. I know you've um, thank you. You have helped many people. Do I grab this? You can take whatever card you Pick want. Pick a card. Have Scott read it and you answer the question. <laughs> okay. Scott, read it in your best trailer <laughs> voice. What seems possible today that didn't a few years ago? Well, I mean, a few years, years ago, ago you, you were waiting tables family. at Johnny Rockets. And now, true. You're, now you're, an, you're a YouTube sensation? The sky's the limit. Um, I feel like I can finally open the hot dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. Nice. By the way, do you know do you know about his do you know about his other business? No, what's his other business? Tell him about your other business. What's I have the business? dumbest do business. Do you want everyone to know about it? I, 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 I created a product when I was very uh, uh, bored called Punch in the Nuts, and it's nuts and trail mixes. <laughs> really bored. <laughs> and you can buy it on Amazon for yeah. a white elephant gift. Punch They're very in the fun. Nuts? It's Is a picture of Jason. Punch in the nuts. Jason, do the pose for him. Yeah, <laughs> it's me getting punched in the nuts on the label. And they're great nuts. They're awesome. <laughs> oh they're delicious. God. So you can you can you maybe you crazy. won't have Jason as a manager, but you can have his nuts. You oh can my have my God. nuts. Wow. Okay, this is going too far. <laughs> I want Scotty to do a question. Okay. okay. And I want Jason to. Do you want read to read it in your trailer voice? Trailer yes. Voice. <laughs> oh, you want me to do the question yeah. in your trailer voice? <sighs> Scott. Let me get. Let me get a level. Let me go. Couple ABCs here. Check one. If you could travel, if you could time travel to permanently alter one historical event, what would it be? That was good. Rated PG 13. Rated PG 13. <laughs> Starts Friday. Uh, kill little Hitler? <laughs> there you go. What? <laughs> I like it. I would have said the same thing. I thought he was going to say punch the <laughs> Well, there you go. I don't think we're going to do better than that. People I think, are, first of all, uh, I have to say something. You guys are both crazy. You are adorable. Uh, but I love you to death. And, and You are an amazing team. Yeah, and the great thing is this, man, is that these guys <laughs> are very modest. They have gigantic businesses, but the thing that rules their life is realness, heart, Kindness. and fun. Yeah. And, and kindness and, and love. And, and, and that's what comes out first. Yeah. From the day first day that I met you, Jason, I was like, what a freaking awesome, nice guy. Oh, come yeah. on, stop I it. I swear to Likewise. God. And the first day that I met Scott, I thought the same thing. So to see the two same. of you, nice yeah. guys click together, man. That's just what happens. Yep. The good guy Finish does first. win yes. in voiceover, that's right. by the way. Thank you guys so much. And Every time. much abundance to you and, and good health to you and, and your family. And love the new Thank studio. You. And Thank shout you. out to Frank. Frank Frank. 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 Welcome, Frank. Frank. You go, Frank. We totally love Frank. awesome. <laughs> and uh, he is the brother of my son's wife. That's right. Oh, yes. Who just had a baby. Hello. I'm, yeah, this and is now my first. Yeah, I have first a, grandpa. I have show. a grandpa granddaughter show. named Lily Ray Rummel. Congratulations! Yes. She is awesome. Congratulations! Well, we, She's a beautiful cry. So she we're is hoping so that cute. turns into a beautiful oh, speaking. And she will, man. And she yeah. will. Thank you both. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Hey, we're gonna see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Peace out. This is Jason Helsner, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And me. And and Scott. And I got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy too. And this is an awesome show. You guys don't know how lucky you are to have this show, to watch every week and see the top industry professionals, including my buddy and my manager, Mr. Jason Helsner. Goodbye, everybody. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. The Oprah Show.
Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demos That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.